Grant Zellner here in Orlando at the PDGA Amateur Disc Golf World Championships. The weather heating up, as is the competition. We've been following the Amateur Advanced Men's Card, the lead card that is, here at the T2 course for the semifinal round. The day began with Robert Burridge with a slim lead. But by hole four, Evan Scott takes three strokes through four holes and he earned every one of those strokes, including this birdie putt. Yet on the very next hole, Robert from 48 feet saves par to keep things close. The camaraderie amongst the lead card, really nice to see, but things get nasty in other ways as our B-dub cameraman takes a disc to the face on hole number six, ouch. By hole number nine, Evan manages to extend his lead. He's minus seven through the front nine in the semifinal round. Things continue to turn on the back nine. Robert, three putting from inside the circle. Began with an opportunity to gain a stroke, ends up losing a stroke on hole number 12. On the picturesque hole number 16, for all we know, we're throwing over alligators. All four members of the lead card safely on dry ground, including Aiden Scott and Michael Messersmith, who will join Evan and Robert in the final nine. On hole 17, Robert Burridge parked for birdie. Evan with an identical putt to his putt from yesterday, 48 feet away with a six foot high ceiling. That's not very much space. And yet again, Evan cashes in the birdie. On 18, Evan finishes with yet another solid birdie putt. This one from 30 feet away, he'll take a five stroke lead into the final nine. Welcome everybody to our coverage of the 2021 PDGA Amateur Disc Golf World Championships in Orlando, Florida, powered by Dynamic Discs and Latitude 64. You are watching MA1 Lead Card Final 9 coverage, brought to you by us here at B-Dub Pro. Today's commentary will be provided by myself, Cameron McKilling, and my good friend Grant Zellner from the PDGA. And we're kicking things off on the final nine here at hole eight of Turkey Lake Original. Uh, this is a 247 foot par three. Um, I don't think this one really needs very much describing. It's very <laughs> no, straightforward. Not really. A little bit of elevation for your putt, but other than that, very, very simple. The path does play out of bounds there on the left true, hand side. True. And it is an elevated pin. So, on the box um, first, at minus there is that. 57, Evan Scott. Evan Scott takes the box with a five-stroke lead going into this final nine. No par fours in the final nine. We'll go hole number eight, then number nine, then one through seven. Evan Scott coming himself. Bottom Second on the card there. at minus 52, Robert Burridge. U.S. champion Robert Burridge. He knows something would have to happen pretty big and pretty early. I don't think uh, any of the boys would uh, have any problem with me saying that they all knew at the start of this Next round, the card, this is more of a victory lap for Evan there. Aiden so uh, Scott. you're not going to see very much, if not any, frustration from the other card mates. They are just there to play a fun last round and make sure Evan has a good time on his way to his first world championship.
And keep in mind, these four have played together a majority of their week. And if they didn't know each other before, they know each other now. Completing our card for today is minus 35, Michael Measuresmith. Now, we didn't get to meet Michael until the fifth round, or sixth round, but uh, he brought some pretty fun energy to the car, he I sure thought, did. as soon as he came over. He's very talkative. You know, a lot of these boys, when you're this focused at, that, at such a young age, you, they, they're kind of reserved and quiet, and then you get someone like Michael on the card, and he is just laughs and smiles and constantly trying to get people to chat with him. Very fun energy here on this lead card, especially in this final round. Way to get things started there for Michael Messersmith with a huge birdie on the first hole here. Michael and Aiden, they're sort of within striking distance of each other. Mm -hmm. So they're, they're playing for something here for sure. Trying to get big putted. Aiden puts one down as well. Yeah. Four birdies going to make it a star frame here on our first hole of the final nine. And we are going to move right along to hole nine, our second hole, a 288 foot par three, uh, very similar mm -hmm. to the last hole. Out of bounds down the left, you gotta throw it down a very straight fairway, not very long, and you gotta put it up on top of the hill at a little bit of elevation. Yeah. Shorter elevation, a uh, little uh, more roots or <laughs> ground play, but overall very similar to the last hole. Probably we'll see a similar disc from all four of our players. Catches those late little trees, but can have a look at it still from over there. Maybe a little hard at eight and ten. Well, you know, these guys have been playing some long par fours and mm -hmm. having to hit some narrow gaps. Uh, have really, they've really been having to throw hard all week long, and this is a little change of pace. Probably a welcome change of pace, but it's no surprise that it might take a hole or two to sort of get adjusted. See, so we had quite the gallery following around the final nine here. It was very fun. Yeah, we really did. Lots of family members, mm -hmm. uh, some friends that, even some, even some that arrived overnight. Yep, Evan's parents, or Evan's old, uh, father and his brother drove down through the night from South Carolina so they could watch oh dear. Evan's final round here. Now, Robert's dad was here at the tournament, but he was not able to watch this round because he was still competing uh -huh. in, uh, in his own age division uh, for a world championship title for himself. Took a top five, as a matter of fact. Easy par putt there. And Evan with the lone birdie on the card here on the second hole of the final nine. It was at this point that uh, Evan and his card mates started to talk about how Evan's only goal for this round was to shoot a nine under. All he wanted, all Evan wanted from this final nine, or all Evan wants currently is to shoot nine under par. So he is off to a hard start two through two. And uh, his card mates are all here to encourage that. And you will see them kind of egging that on and encouraging him to run things, which is very fun. Like I said, this was a very unique experience. Hole one, 342 foot par three. Another simple hole. Yeah, a little longer again. Nothing these boys aren't prepared for. 
Evan going to give himself a circle two putt. Looks like he wants to do this the hard way. <laughs> high out of the hand gets a better than he deserved probably reaction off that tree it was able to sort of deflect up and over and back out into the open looking good out of the hand for Aiden Scott yeah that was a really nice turnover that he threw pushes past the basket which is not bad Michael going very, very similar line. Catches some branches, but still a similar result. There's Ezra get, showing us his moves. Had to get him on camera one last time. I told Ezra he reminds me of Polly Shore. He does remind. And he actually he knows. Does. He actually knows who that is. Surprisingly enough. Yeah, and I don't. That is not. That doesn't surprise me from that kid. <laughs> I could. I could. He is a cool kid. These are. They are all cool kids. These were some fun yeah. young men to work with all week long. Evan is running it from distance. Three for three for Evan Scott. Putting it in. His card mates cheering him on. Yeah, we're going to watch that again in slow motion. He is on fire here. Making a run at that nine under that he wants. And uh, putting on a show. You know, I like the mentality of uh, at least stepping up to that first tee with visions of nine under just because I, I i like there's no playing it safe there's there's none of that kind of mentality right now for evan and i like that three big birdies in a row for your lead card here in the final nine smiles all around Robert going to take a par there but i don't think he's feeling too bummed out about it We are here at hole three, or sorry, hole two, a 349 foot par three. Um, this one road along the left side is gonna be out of bounds. And if you go past the white fence back there, you're gonna be also out of bounds. Mm -hmm. So other than that, you just wanna stay somewhere in the middle of this fairway and preferably be somewhere right near these three little trees here for a nice, easy birdie putt. Hole two, our fourth hole of the final nine. Scott going wide and swinging back left. Oh, yep, and skips down there into the circle. Mm -hmm. Well on his way to making it four for four. Good drive from Aiden Scott. Going to put him just outside the circle to the left down there. Now, uh, we do not have catch cams for these drives because we had not been to Turkey Lake original yet. We've only filmed at Turkey mm -hmm. Lake 2 or T2. So Curtis had no clue where this hole was, and he took off to the next hole, and he was long <laughs> gone by the time he realized they were teeing off. So he did catch right back up with us after these drives when he realized, but he thought we were going to the hole down the road already. Yeah, logistically speaking, things happening really, really fast right now as a, a number of divisions are coming in, crowning their champions, mm -hmm. their world champions, every few minutes during this time. So lots of scrambling going on that you, the viewer, can't see. Yeah, the course was busy, busy, busy. This was just one of 12 cards that had mm -hmm. a gallery, and caddies and you know fans and friends and family cameras yep excellent birdie putt here from aiden aiden's having fun he is having a blast and that is so fun to watch so fun to see these kids just having the as you know the best time they possibly could have in this final nine they know that it's what it's all disc golf is all about yeah you're just here to have a good time Thanking the uh, fence for saving his disc there. <laughs> 
All right, we'll knock it down. What are those little buildings back there, by the way? Do you know? Are they houses? A little or cabins. Like little cabins yeah. you yeah. can rent. They sure are. That's neat. I have not again. I have not seen this side of the course until the final round. There's all kinds of camping here at this park. Some it's of a our very players. Nice park. Some of our players took advantage of that. Evan, four for four. And we are on to our fifth hole, which is hole three, a 300-foot par three. Lots of threes in this one. Um, and we are going to go towards the lake down here, which is out of bounds. And, uh, <laughs> you can see the basket does slope down to it, so there's a potential for some rollaways towards the OB. Or sure. if you just throw it too hard, you can carry right out towards that water. But... Again, nothing too scary here. These these players have seen it before, even though us cameramen had not. So, the play familiar here, drives for these guys. Yeah, the play here, throw throw something low and hard, and then let the disc finish naturally to the left. Whoops. Shrugs it off. Yeah, these guys can't really be... They're, they're not... Nothing's really phasing them right now. They're all having too much fun. And that is riding down the hillside. Smoked. Tree the saves it. Keeps it in bounds. <laughs> wow, he threw that hard. Michael is so tall. Yeah, he is. That looks clean. Needed to stay a little lower, but kind of a long birdie look if he wants to run it. Aiden was running that. I think these guys are running everything. They really are. You can tell by the way they're cheering each other on, the way they're running after shots, even low percentage ones. They're they're running everything. Oh, what a bid. Yeah, going for the highlight. A couple of uh, loons out there. I don't know what kind of birds those are, but they were cool looking. <laughs> I like loons. Someone told me they saw some pelicans out on the dock, so I was looking for those guys. Five for five. For Evan Scott, somebody call Wendy's. I'm stealing your marketing campaign. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> You're back again. I am, yeah. Oh, I good. Can't stop, won't stop. Good putt there after uh, almost flying out of bounds for Robert This Burge. golf was a sport that nobody knew about when I first started playing. I had to explain it to my parents, my family. When I first started, I grew up in Ohio playing disc golf and, and just playing locally. It was, you know, not as big of a deal. There was never a gallery. There was never video coverage. I've been touring for the last decade and seeing this early point in development now to this crazy growth. Parents can uh, want their kids to play disc golf because there's a future there. There's money. There's professionalism. I just imagine it just getting bigger and better, and I'm excited to be part of it. And we are back from commercial break at hole four, which is actually our fifth hole. 338 foot par three. Um, this one has a elevated basket, which is fun, an, uh, an artificially elevated basket. It's not like a, well it is on hill and it's artificially elevated. So I guess it makes it even taller. Um, I suppose the water would technically be out of bounds if you went over there, but mm -hmm. it's pretty far away. This whole, something about this hole to me, it looks and it feels like it plays longer than it is to me for some reason. Yeah, it does. It, it It's the openness here at T, T, uh, Turkey Lake Original, I was going to call it T-O, um, is very different than what any of the courses we have seen uh, in our rounds that we've gotten to film. So it was refreshing, in my opinion, to just be out here in the open there was a nice breeze for most of the round 
Yeah. Being really right was. here on the lake was really fun. It was a very picturesque final nine, to say the least. Like I said, I, I don't have the power to get it there. Didn't hit a cameraman in reference to uh, when Aiden did hit Curtis in the face yeah. in the semifinal round, um, which is the reason we do not have coverage from that. We had a cameraman get a concussion. <laughs> so we provided the highlight reel for you at the beginning of the round. Man down. And uh, had to limp our way through the rest of the round minus Curtis. Good drive there from Robert. Michael are going to go all the way around. I'm not 100% sure these guys would choose this route. Normally. Normally. Right. They were they were kind of looking for little challenges and little fun things to try here. Michael, 100% about to run this putt. Oh. I knew that because Evan, Robert, and Aiden all offered him $5 to put it in the basket from there. <laughs> and he really wanted fifteen dollars. Great bid. Off the bars. Everybody running everything. Nothing is being left out. No, no opportunities are being left out here. That's for sure. Another birdie makes it six for six. That's a double turkey. From our boy, Evan Scott. Check this one out in slow-mo. A up. double turkey. We need to come double up with another turkey. name Another name for that. Kind of like a double eagle is an albatross. Yeah, we need to come yeah, up um, with something else for a, a double hummingbird. turkey. Uh, you're going small. Yeah, because Evan's small, small and fast. Evan's small oh, and fast. Oh, all right. I haven't seen too many double turkeys in, in recent years. Evan, memories, I'd like so. to apologize. This is how nicknames start. Hey, it is meant to be a compliment. Hummingbirds are my favorite bird, besides, <laughs> like, cardinals. You just said that like it was two separate words, cardinals. Well, I like I'm from the West Coast. Things, things, we talk different out there. <laughs> Everybody in. We're going to move on to hole five, which is our... Seventh. Seventh hole. I was misspoken on the last flyover, which was our sixth hole. That's I'm having right. a hard time with these mismatching it's been a long numbers week. and holes. But either way, regular layout hole five, our seventh hole, 428 foot par three. You got to clear that bridge where the creek is and uh, stay out of the water on the right and mm -hmm. off of the cart path on the left. I guess it's not a cart path, but the walking path. And, uh, a final challenge for our lead card. He is given the flag. I, he is safe. Um, the spotter held up the red card, which I thought was out of bounds, but also did the wa arm wave. Which I think it's safe. Yeah, or, or that or it's a two-sided card, and from behind we're seeing the red side, oh, but, true, he, but yeah. he showed green to the deep. It could be oh. a two-sided card. I, oh, it is a two-sided card. There we go. There we go. That one is out. That makes more sense. Almost landed on the bridge, and he was excited at the chance of being safe. Now, Although I don't know that that would have been safe. Michael did try to convince the marshal with our card to let Aiden play from the bridge with no penalty. Mm -hmm. He was trying really hard. He was like, is there any way you'll just let him throw from there, sir? Yeah, negotiating with people in authority <laughs> by beginning with the line, is there any way, it usually doesn't work out. It was worth an ask. He wanted to see his friend where throw is, from there. Where is Michael going? Out. Over the water. He's going to uh, oh, earlier than he wanted. I was hoping he was about to come in right in the basket. 428 feet. At 428 feet, this is this is a pump. Get it there. Oh. Oh. Off the top. Banded. And that one went out of bounds. Oh. A little lofted, a little short. Easy par putt. 
Aiden able to knock one down after going OB on his drive. Not a bad way to take a bogey there. Evan saves his first par of the round. Yep. Lost his chance, unless he hits an ace, lost his yep. chance here at the nine under, but a six down through six is insane. Yeah, it was six down through those first six holes. Michael taking his relief so he doesn't get nabbed and dragged into the water by any loose alligators. I'm always losing my alligators. You know, they are wily ones. I kept losing mine all week long. And we are going to move on to hole six, which is our eighth hole, second to last hole here. It is a 298 foot par three. Um, you do have OB, all of these bushes, trees, flowery things you see here on the left. If you're in there at all, out of bounds. Mm -hmm. If you're over the path over here, out of bounds. You want to get on the ground right around here and not be putting from behind that palmetto. I think that's a palmetto. Good looking drive from Evan. Almost hits the spotter. It's not an easy tee shot, that's for sure. No, this one's one of the tougher ones here. This might be the hardest one we've had so far on this final nine. Mm, early tree kicks him out left and out of bounds. Aiden puring it. Puts it all the way up there, 10 feet from the basket. Yeah, Aiden definitely found the line. Hang on, two left. <laughs> I'm trying to give her a line. <laughs> Evan Scott. Oh. oh, going for it. He went for it. He wasn't going to not go for it. <gasps> Top of the cage for Michael. And Robert Burge is in. Now we've made our move. Aiden Scott for two. Nicely done. Aiden Scott. Evan going to take another par here. And we are going to move on to our last hole of the tournament, finishing here on Turkey Lake Original, hole seven, our ninth hole, 335 foot, par three, up the hill to an elevated basket. And, uh, after that, we're done. After that, we're done. Here's that basket sitting not only elevated, but also on a bit of a ridge. Double elevated. Yeah, having to putt from the front side of that ridge is really tricky. From the back side is uh, about as close as you get to one here in flat Florida. <laughs> Everyone having some fun airing out one last shot. Almost took it all the way to the spectators, but that tree <laughs> might have saved a few lives. Aiden Scott. Getting some turn, starting to fade back for him. Stays inbounds. You hear the reaction of the crowd because having watched all the other groups come in before this, not many shots were closer to the pin than that one for Maiden. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Evan going with the backhand roller. He promised these guys all the way back on hole one that he would be on the first hole, so I guess hole eight. 
He promised these guys at the beginning of the final nine that he would throw a backhand roller on the last hole, no matter what, and he did just that. Look at this shot. Oh my goodness. Leaning on the pole. Tucked underneath the blue foam pad there. The koozie. Great upshot from Evan Scott. Gonna give himself an easy birdie. An easy birdie, an easy par. Par, my bad. That was almost a birdie. Again, everyone going for it. These boys are going to tap in here, and Grant and I are going to step back and uh, let Evan have this moment here. Thanks for watching, everybody, and uh, we're going to leave it all to your world champion. all of the people who helped work so hard on this coverage all week long here in Florida. Anthony Rising, T-Cam, and our drone pilot for the week here in Florida. Curtis Maroney, my catch cam operator for the trip. Also the guy putting all the graphics on for us here. Myself, Cameron McKilling, reaction and slow-mo cam, also editor and commentator. And of course, Grant Zellner, who helped me with commentary all week. And Conrad Meyer, who provided the thumbnail photos for us here. And uh, we are going to take one last look at the final nine scorecard before we take off here. Excellent last round here from these four gentlemen. Evan Scott, six birdies through six holes. And your new amateur world champion. Robert Burridge, second place. Aiden Scott in third. And Michael Messersmith taking fourth place here at the 2021 PDGA Amateur World Championships. Make sure to follow us at PDGA on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. And head to PDGA.com and sign up for an official PDGA membership if you do not already have one. There is a couple months left for you to sign up for this year. Make sure you do so. It is good for a whole year, folks. And also follow us at BW Pro on Facebook and Instagram and into our YouTube channel and hit like, subscribe, and the notification bell so you don't miss out on any of our upcoming content. Thanks for watching, everybody. It's been a blast. <laughs>